so that it's 64. He's trying for child number eight. He said that he and his wife, Penny Lancaster, are working on a sibling for their young son, Alistair. Uh, but jokes that after one more, he's going to close the office. Uh, meanwhile, across the channel, French President Nicolas Sarkozy and his new wife Carla are planning to have a baby, according to friends. The 54-year-old is said to want a child to add to the three children he has from two previous marriages. So, do we think they're a little bit old to be carrying on like this and wanting more kids? Oh, you know, I feel really bad saying this because, I, you know, if anyone wants a child, then they they're want... really old? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, in case Rod happens to come on one day. <laughs> but yes, in my opinion, I you know I do, and also you know because the thing is, if he has a child now, by the time the child's even ten and he's seventy four, and and his friends at the school gates will go, oh, your granddad's waiting to pick you up. You know, I mean, it happens a lot now because it seems to me that mums and dads are getting younger, which is another topic. But um, and all and and the fact is that it's child number eight, and I'm, I'm sure he's a great dad. He seems to have a great relationship with all his mm -hmm. kids. But, but the fact is, is Penny's choice, wait, though, I'm not it. finished. <laughs> and, but the fact is, is that ultimately his other seven children are from broken homes. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I don't know, and I but understand... Well well by I un of course they are, and I understand Penny, you know, she's... Um, mid-30s or something and, and wants a sibling for, mm. for the little one but sometimes I just think you have to get to a point where you say no you know I've I've made my contribution to the population men I, he has. Men, I just think men love you know to they love that thing they don't babies. Think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love the thing <laughs> for that but they love the idea that it's carrying on their name it's terribly selfish there's a great selfishness yeah, about but I it think too. they are aware I think that if you are 64 or 54 it's like with two with 50 I think that they talking about Rod and Sarkozy I think they are aware that they're probably too old but they have younger women who want to have a baby and I think that's probably why why they're doing it I mean I remember I mean I was 96 when I had Louis for God's sake so I <laughs> You know, after my weekend in Amsterdam, don't go. Um, <laughs> and uh, Tim, Tim, with Tim, Tim, with Tim, 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 he was uh, I was it? Yes, it was. I mean, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, he was. He was. It took a long time for him to come round to the thing because he was. He was nearly fifty at the time, and, and we'd been quite happy w with Matthew because I'd not been very well and everything, and it was a little bit of a mistake. But anyway, he was because he was saying, you know, I'm going to be six eight when I take him for his first pint and stuff. So he was very well aware of that, and he wouldn't have chosen. To, 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 have, to have another child, it just sort of happened, and now, of course, we wouldn't, mm. wouldn't mm, swap exactly. it for, for the world. But he does get that, you know, sort of, yeah, we well, your grandson, Tim, are you? You know, I mean, he does get that a bit, but I mean, yeah. he had that with Matthew anyway. The Tim. thing is, it is, about, <laughs> it is about the couples, though, isn't it, really? It is about people meeting, and, and it's you, often, now, the trouble is, it's second time, third time round. And, and the, the, the wife in there, because it's unfortunately against women, mostly, isn't it? It's always the men that find a younger model in the main. Mm. Carol's not here today, so I can't... <laughs> but she's got two for one. She's got a young person and she's got a husband, so she doesn't need to have babies. Don't you think it's better to have a, a good older father for a short amount of time than a rubbish father for the, for the whole of your life? Because, I mean, there's some yeah, people who have their children very young who are terrible, terrible fathers, you know, so at least, he, at least, at least mm. these, these have got younger mothers. And, if, you know, if, they, if they're loved for however long, you know, sure. Rod or so cozy you've I know, got. We always say that, don't we? It's better to have an older loving father. There's a lot of young fathers out there who are of great fathers. Are. Well, obviously, there's there a lot of balance. But I don't know. I just think, I mean, you saw by the audience reaction, he wants another baby at 64. And just so I, mean, I, just think, I just think it's the mm. thought of them doing jiggy jigs. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. years ago doesn't mean the rest of us have no, it. Just like when, when, when the men's bottles go a bit wrinkly. <laughs> I like that. It makes me feel more secure. <laughs> well, I, know Ray. I mean, Ray was... Um, I Ray love you, know, Ray. You're well, very kind talented. of know him, yeah. yeah. Ray's 51 now, and he definitely, you know, definitely doesn't want any more. For that reason, he said, you know... because well, he's got a wrinkly dog. <laughs> How do you know Ray's got a wrinkly dog? What have you been doing with my Ray? <laughs> no, because he doesn't want to be the old. He wants to be yeah. able to play with them and not be like, oh, I can't go out, you know, I'm too old and then go I shopping. Think it's funny because my dad's 64. And if my mum and dad came round, you know, and said, guess what? You're going to be a sister again. Ah! Yeah, that would be yeah. horrible. But it's like Shane Jr. Oh. now. Shane you Jr. wait till you're 64. <laughs> On the way, I'm the closest to it to everybody else here. I know, but if you were sitting there pregnant now, I might be sick. Well, what's the reason? <laughs> I don't 
the reason Mr. Swain asked to marry me is because he knew it was too late, thank goodness. He knew it was late. <laughs> Would you like a little no, bit of No, thank you. Not at all. <laughs> and you haven't got a wrinkly bum. You've got a lovely bum. Yeah, my bum's all right. Have yeah, you? The thing is, oh, you, remember? you must yeah. know. <laughs> you must know this, Jen, because Matthew and Shane Jr. are the same age of 20, nearly 21. And it's great now because they still c c come up to us, don't they? I don't know about Matthew, but Shane does come up and go, oh, we're going out. Do you want to come out with us? And we'll go out. We went out um, in Brighton last week and it was great. But I can't imagine Kira in another 10 years when I'm, you know, fit nearly well, 60. Well, it doesn't matter because I'll be taking her out. <laughs> <laughs> But you'll still be going out. Come on, Nana. Oldest when yeah. you're in town. Wow. With Nana, Kira. <laughs> 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 still got the move, you know.